The Department of Transportation's financial struggles are impacting local road projects here in the east. In September, the department announced hundreds of workers would be laid off and proposed projects to be suspended. Nine of your sides, Camila Barco is live in Jacksonville to explain more on what this means for Onslow County. Camila. Right, Shayla, 24 road projects in Onslow County have been put on hold because of the State Department of Transportation's financial state. But five projects, including the one behind me on Henderson Drive, will continue as scheduled. In August, the North Carolina Department of Transportation announced 900 road projects would be suspended. We have, are certainly uh, seeing some trying times right now. Chief Operation Officer Robert Lewis said NCDOT is monitoring their spending and staying above a state mandated figure of $300 million. We're not running out of money, but when we hit, get to the statutory floor, we're not allowed to enter in to new contracts uh, and, and execute new work until we get above the floor. The restrictions impacting Onslow County. Anthony Prince, transportation director for the city of Jacksonville said 24 projects are now on hold. The, the total amount of those 24 projects is approximately $450 million. And of course that's, that's revenue that comes from the DOT who would actually be out there constructing the project. Weather related costs and legal fees have drained the state transportation department's funding but active projects will continue as scheduled. That includes the Henderson Hawk Project, Gum Branch Widening, Midway Park Safety Enhancements, the project on Marine and Bell Fork, and Western and Gateway North. If it was already in essentially the construction pipeline, they're gonna allow them to continue to go. Prince says the future of developing or constructing new projects is in question. My sense is until DOT's uh, fund balance comes back up to a more comfortable level, uh, we're really not going to be doing much of anything. Prince says they will have to find more creative ways to address safety and congestion issues in the area for the meantime. The fate of those 24 roadway projects here in Onslow County depends on NCDOT's financial status. Live in Jacksonville, Camila Barco, 9 on your side.